Hey there, my name is Ian O'Donnell and this is my minivan camper that I took all over the country last year. I'm putting it up for sale um, and it looks like there might be a buyer so before I part ways with it I just wanted to do a, a tour video and show some of the things I did and some of the designs that I used and stole from other people and whatnot. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll jump in. Here it is. Um, this is the van. I guess the the big thing is, is always the bed inside these, these little campers. Um, and how you make that work. So this this design was originally done by a guy named Nick and it was meant to be a full-sized bed that went all the way across. Um, I think it's the best design personally for for a full-size bed in the back of a minivan because it's so easy to convert it back and forth. Um, here I'll show you how it works. Usually I would sit here on the uh, on the cooler and then this just folds down like that and then you can lay the rest of the cushion Across, and I would just keep my uh, I would just keep my sheets on the bed so I could pull them up and over easily. So it was really a, a great design, and no one had really a couple other YouTubers had used this design um, in their minivan campers, but no one had done it as like a like a one person bed. Um, so it worked out nicely. I had all this storage space. Originally, I was going to try and put a bike here, um, but still, just having the area to drop extra bags was was really nice. Uh, for power, right here, I have the um, the Jackery. So I just charge this one off of the alternator here. This only pulls from the alternator. It doesn't pull from the car's battery, so I could leave it plugged in all the time. Um, and it did fine for what I was doing. No solar, nothing like that. Just the uh, just the Jackery. What I, I had it attached to these these little fairy lights up in here, so I could turn them on. And it doesn't do much during the day, but at night, um, they do fine. I also had a fan attached to it through USB. It runs down, the cable runs under the floor and up and around, so I have this. It worked just fine. Um, it's not like a huge power bank, but it did well enough just to keep my, uh, my computer charged and phone charged and things like that. Um, other thing, cooler. This Jackery obviously can't support something like a, like a actual refrigerator, so I just went with, with this little cooler I got. It's not a Yeti or anything, but it, it it's a, uh, it's pretty well insulated, so it can it can last multiple days without having any issues. And it's kind of cool. You can open it from um, both sides, so if I was outside of the vehicle or inside of it, you know, I could, I could get to stuff. The other thing is uh is this little table here. So it has a little pull-out drawer, so there's some extra room if I wanted to work on a computer or something. Um, it does have a sink in it, and it's a pretty deep sink. That was intentional. That way I would be able to uh, fill my water bottle up in it. Uh, this, it does have running water, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so this thing just runs off of a, a battery bank that's built into it, and it lasts like a month. I was suspicious at first, and they're really cheap. You can get this for like 10 bucks. But it has a little tube that runs down to a um, to a water tank right here, and I can show it from the other side because you can access it from the other door really easily. Um, but that's all there, and then there's also a gray water tank that the uh, the sink empties down into. Another cool thing about the the minivan: this is a town and country, and the town and countries and the Dodge Grand Caravans have this feature, which is the stow and go seat. I took all the back seats out. Um, so there's this giant area down here where you have all this storage where you can um, keep anything from food to whatever you want, clothes. And then there's one uh, also on this side as well. Uh, it's a little more difficult to get to, but still, there's all the storage there. One of the last things that's here in the main area is uh, how I blocked my windows out and such. So I just had some curtains. Um, they're just on these rails, and then I would put them up like so. In terms of blocking out the windows, I had reflectant insulation. This is just standard reflectant insulation. You can get it like Home Depot or something. I used 3M spray to put some fabric on it. So on the inside, I have this kind of blue color just to put some color in this place. And then on the other side, uh, this black fabric. And these would go up in my windows and um, I had them, some Velcro on them as well to help hold them in place and such. And I have those for all of the windows here on the inside. All right, so um, going into the back, just to help with some extra storage. I took the back seats out as well. Um, so that created this giant 
well area in the back of the van where I could store some extra stuff. So right here, this whole thing is hinged so it can flip up and you can get to any storage that you might want down there. On the outside, there's not really much to it. The only thing I added on were these uh, rain guards, which you really need in any, any type of van or car you're going to be sleeping in, unless you want to put a, a roof vent in, and I didn't want to. But, I mean, that being said, when it's closed up, it just looks like a regular minivan, so I was able to stealth camp in some places where it really wasn't uh, even remotely allowed, <laughs> but no one ever knew it just looked like a minivan. So the last thing is the water system and kind of how I, how I made that work. This is just a, a six gallon water tank that I think I got at Walmart and then just a Rubbermaid Tupperware thing to catch the, the drained water. Right up here you can see where the tubing goes down into the, uh, into the water reservoir and then it goes up and into the uh, spigot that siphons it out. And then up in the front seat, I really um, didn't do anything in the front seat. But that kind of works, because from the outside looking in, I mean, you can see the, um, you can see obviously where the curtain is. But other than that, it just, it just looks like a regular front seat. The center console here is actually removable in this particular year uh, model of the town and country, which was something specific I was looking for, because um, when you take it out, it just makes it so much easier to get in and out of the front seat into the back. Uh, of your van and um, that helped a lot with being stealthy or if it was just raining or something you know it was nice to be able to not have to get out of the vehicle draw attention to yourself or, or get or get soaked that about sums up the van and kind of what I did with the build I was really happy with this minivan camper there was a few things I would change like the converting bed is a really cool design and I think it's the best design if you want to put a full bed inside a minivan camper for a single person though, I think having a fixed bed is, is just more convenient because tearing a bed down and setting it back up multiple times every single day, it just it gets old after a while. But other than that, I didn't really have any issues with it. So thank you for watching the video. Um, I'm obviously building out my, my car, my little Nissan Cube into a little car camper now. So going a, a different direction and then hopefully in the future I'll be getting a bigger van or a, a four-wheel van and uh, we'll go from there. But I want to thank Brian Smith. <laughs> He's been on, on this episode once before when we were in Grand Tetons. But thank you for videoing this. And um, yeah, we'll see you in, in future videos.